Hello, I'm Will Garfit. I'm an artist, a writer, and a passionate shot, and a countryman overall. My great passion is pigeon shooting. The pigeon is the most wonderful sporting bird. To me, it is the ultimate bird and sporting quarry, and I have an immense respect for the pigeon. I'd like to welcome you to my untidy studio, office, and gun room. For 50 years, I've painted commissions of people's rivers and waters and fishing. All my paintings are painted outside on the spot. The other part of my um, painting is painting of still lives of game birds. It's a link between my shooting and my art. I've written for the Shooting Gazette now for 25 years. I've written four books about my little shoot, has been one element of it. And then later, the BASC commissioned me to write a book on pigeon shooting, which is the authoritative tome on pigeon shooting. I shoot perhaps um, usually between uh, 80 and 90 days pigeon shooting between February and November, and shoot something between seven and 9,000 pigeons a year. My other passion, of course, in the shooting season is game days, and I shoot perhaps 30 or 40 days of game shooting during the year. Um, and that, of course, is wonderful and a more social activity with friends uh, shooting on their farms and estates. I also clay shoot a bit, um, not a lot, but I've won the odd trophy here and there and often raising money for charity. Now, we all love our shooting. It's when we get back at the end of the day, whether we've been clay shooting, pigeon shooting, game shooting, what is important is the care of our guns. The boring bit is cleaning our guns. A friend of mine, Bill Holloway, has invented and developed a cleaning system called Britball Mops, which actually makes the job easy and simple. It's the most thorough way of cleaning guns. I shoot pigeons with a, an over and under, uh, but I shoot game with my side by side. Lovely old Beasley X live pigeon gun of 1907. The cleaning is the same for all barrels, uh, the same technique. And the first thing is you obviously take the gun down And then holding the barrel, we squeeze oil through the barrel. Now I've got separate rods for these, but the first operation is with the phosphor brush on the post. Now this, this having put the oil in, will loosen any leading that's on the barrel and certainly in the chamber too, which is important. We take a Brit ball mop and put one into each chamber. Then I have a separate rod of the many there. And this is quite tight, and it's deliberately tight. But by doing this, that will take out the majority of the dirt because it's now in solution with the oil. The phosphorons leaves the dirt. I'll show you in detail how much dirt has come out. Then you repeat the process with a second Brit ball mop. You'll see now there's still going to be some residue, but not much. And believe me, that between the two elements, it is actually, it leaves it quite clean. Although there is a residue that's come off, but you won't get much more out of that. And finally, another squish of oil and put the same mop that you've just used I turn it upside down to get a clean edge to it put it back through the barrel and that will leave a thin film of oil on the barrel these now can be used as the first mop next time you clean the gun so hang on to these the ones that were used in the first time through the dirty ones they go into the recycling bin so that was a very quick, easy and thorough way of cleaning the gun.